Pratt & Whitney's vision is to enable the air transportation sector to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050. We've developed a sustainability strategy that includes technologies that will enable our customers to reduce their emissions. And that strategy is codified in our environmental, social, and government reporting. All engines are certified to operate on 50% sustainable aviation fuels today. Much of our current testing involves testing SAFs on blends that approach 100% because we think those are the fuels of the future which enable the aviation industry to achieve its net zero CO2 goals. We use ANSYS software to predict the temperature distribution leaving combustion systems and entering turbine systems. And simulations for us aren't just predictive, simulations help guide the engineering design and validation process. We cannot understate the importance of simulation because it allows us to bring our product to a final design and into the market a lot faster. Pratt & Whitney pioneered a game-changing aircraft engine architecture called the gear turbofan which pulls down fuel energy consumption by about 16% and reduces regulated NOx emissions by 50%. This is a pioneering design that offers significant fuel savings and efficiency. Ever since we went into service in the 2016 timeframe, we have saved aircraft operators over a million gallons in fuel. We actually think that gas turbines will power aviation beyond 2050. The beauty of ANSYS simulations is because of the accuracy of the simulations when combined with Pratt & Whitney's engineering design experience enable a more optimized and better GTF aircraft engine. This particular hydrogen propulsion concept operates on an advanced thermodynamic cycle and ANSYS's simulation software allows us to identify the technical challenges associated with an advanced concept in a quantified manner, which informs future technology development strategy that will allow us to tackle those challenges and enable us to field a hydrogen propulsion concept and engine in the future.